Archaeologists climb deep inside ancient Egyptian tombs to uncover secrets that have been buried for thousands of years. You are about to go into a maze deep inside the New Bay Bridge that will soon be sealed and perhaps never documented again. Destination, the Splay Chamber, a web-like sanctum that is extremely hard to get to and incredibly important to the New Bay Bridge. It was extremely difficult to design. It was very difficult to build because you had to have all these stiffeners that you guys are going to be crawling through here in a few, in a few moments in order to take all the forces that are holding the bridge up. Um, we're going to be going into the anchor point, a very unique spot of the Bay Bridge. It's, um, it's, it's dark, it's, uh, it's the part that's really holding up the entire structure, so we have to prepare a little differently. A guide is coming that's going to, that's going to take us inside the, inside the bridge. We're going to be following their direction very carefully, and it's easy to get lost. It is easy to get lost inside the New Bay Bridge. Remember this, cross beam number 17. Yes. <laughs> the inside of the bridge is a steel labyrinth through walkways, down ramps, up and down ladders, crawling under utility racks, through double hatches with even more hatch openings in the distance to chambers not on our route. Like being in a sub. Don't go that way. Oh, stop. It's easy to get lost in this. This is a joint. We're about to go through the joint now. Past modern day engineering hieroglyphics. To an opening under the bridge. The team crawls out with the bay below us and back in to the back side of section 14 of the new bay bridge. It was hard to fabricate because not only do we had to, did we have to squeeze all of these cable uh, ends into it, but it's on an angle and on a bank. Uh, and so it was very difficult to design, it was very difficult to draw up in Vancouver, uh, Canada, and then it was uh, probably the most difficult to fabricate in Shanghai. 70% of the new Baybridge steel was made in the USA. Less than a third of the steel was produced in Asia. January 2011, Shanghai. Sections 13 and 14 were fabricated in this massive workshop under the direction of 200 Americans on site. The sections were the most difficult to build because the single 10 million pound steel cable that holds the weight of the bridge begins here on the eastern end, runs to the tower and back down, swings around the western end, back up, and then is anchored back down through sections 13 and 14 into the splay chamber. This was the splay chamber with the final strand being tied down on April 5th, 2012, before the chamber was covered by steel plates. Now we are inside that section, approaching the back side of the splay chamber. The cables are locked down here and you can see the ends protruding from the steel wall. This is the other side of the splay chamber. The splay chamber itself, where the cables are, is on the other side of the steel bulkhead. Getting to the splay chamber itself meant another 20 minute trek through another series of maze-like walkways, stairs and hatches. And finally, getting down on your hands and knees to crawl into the splay chamber. This is the actual splay chamber for the world's largest self-anchored suspension bridge. We're walking in between sort of a giant spider web. Each one of these strands, there's 137 of these strands that are going around us. Inside the strands, there's 127 uh, five millimeter diameter wires, um, each one of them with a strength to hold up a military grade Hummer. Um, a total of 17,399 of these wires grouped in strands that lock back into this giant steel bulkhead behind us. Um, and, and take all the forces, the weight of this bridge, back into itself at this location. It, it's the heart of the bridge. This is the thing that makes this bridge unique. Uh, there's no other anchorage like this in the world. And you are among the last to see it. You seal it completely. You seal it like a tomb, and then you also watch it to make sure nobody tries to get in. Inside the splay chamber, Mark Jones reporting.